Hello viewers, welcome back to Zigwheels. We are at a very special racetrack, the Herit MotoGP racetrack to ride a very special motorcycle, the new Triumph Street Triple 765 RS. Now, according to me, the Street Triple is among the top five motorcycles that I have ridden, but Triumph claims that they have made it even better with some subtle changes. So have Triumph managed to do that? Let's find out. Let us check out what is different on the new Triumph Street Triple family. The headline figure is that the new RS is now the most powerful motorcycle in its segment and this has been courtesy a new combustion chamber, new pistons and increase in compression ratio. Also, the gear ratios are now shorter for better acceleration and roll-on figures. Another big change in the electronics department is the inclusion of cornering ABS and cornering traction control. On the chassis end, the rake angle has been made sharper and the RS now features Brembo style mark calipers. The Triumph Street Triple R and the RS get adjustable suspension on either ends. But the RS sports a more premium suspension component. And finally, on the cosmetic end, you could see the Street Triple sporting a new face as the fly screen is smaller and the DRLs are a bit sharper. The fuel tank is now sleeker and so is the new tank extension panel. The Street Triple RS is also offered in a new bright yellow shade that looks so cool. So as you can see, the changes made on this motorcycle are subtle. So let's start this video, how it performs on the racetrack. The best thing about this motorcycle is the way it handles. It just tips into corners beautifully. It just seems that it reads your mind. Now, great boost for that is to the frame and the super grippy Super Corsa SPs that let you carry a lot of lean angle and lot of speed to the corners. Apart from that, the other big change are these. Now, this gets the Brembo Stylema calipers. Now, these are the top spec calipers. Now, they help you shed speeds at an incredible rate. So, even if you're going fast when you're entering the corner, you can trust those brakes to shed those speeds and you can lean into the corner. Apart from that, the engine. Now, it produces 130 PS on the back straight or on the main straight of the Herit, we were clocking over 200 kmph, so this has the drive. Now talking about fast riding, we were clocking speeds over 200 kmph on the racetrack. The only issue that we faced was the wind blast, but that's a given because it's a street bike. The other big change is the gear ratios. Now the gear ratios have been made shorter so that it has better acceleration going out of the corner. So on the racetrack, this motorcycle feels almost perfect. Now we had great fun on the racetrack, but it's called the Street Triple and the real test of this motorcycle is on the street. Now we were riding around some beautiful country roads around Herit and again the first thing I'm going to talk about is the handling. In the first half, I was riding the Street Triple R and around the tight, twisty and even flowy corners of the county side, this motorcycle felt awesome. Now, this has the Continental tyres and doesn't have the grippier Super Corsa SPs, but on the road, I really didn't find much of a difference because the kind of speeds that you're carrying on the road, for that, the Street Triple R felt really good. Same thing for the RS, because it has a bit more grip, you can carry a bit more speed, but on the street, both the handling performance of these two motorcycles are similar even though the range is different. Now the third thing I'm going to talk about is the brakes. Yes, the RS has the better brakes, the Brembo style mask and the R gets some lower spec Brembo brakes but on the street you don't feel much of a difference and talking about performance also, both these motorcycles felt similar. Again, the same problem that I had on the racetrack was the same problem on the street which is the wind blast. You can cruise on this motorcycles between 120 to 140 kmph. Above that, you do feel the wind blast, but then again, they are street motorcycles, so that is quite fair. 
If I had to nitpick, the only flaw that I could find on the street triple is the wide turning radius, which would affect its agility in city traffic. Now, again, we couldn't ride the motorcycles through traffic, but while taking U-turns, it has a very long turning radius. So maybe that might be a bit bothersome. It is time for word. At the beginning of this video, I had mentioned that Triumph have made incremental changes and I wanted to see whether they have made an impact and the simple answer is yes. All those incremental changes combined to make the new straight triple range a very good motorcycle. The fact that it handles beautifully, the extra grunt makes it a good motorcycle on the highway and also the new electronics makes any normal rider feel like a very good rider. So if you're looking for a sub 15 lakh rupees performance motorcycle, the Triumph Street Triple R and the 765 RS are great options under 15 lakh rupees. In fact, not only this motorcycle set new benchmarks in this segment, they can compete with motorcycles above their segment and that really speaks a lot. Now, if I had to pick a motorcycle among the two, my pick will be the RS because it has better kit, it's a better motorcycle on the racetrack and also you can do commuting on this motorcycle. So this versatile nature makes it a very very appealing motorcycle. Now at the time of this shooting we don't have the prices with us. My guess is that the R variant would be priced around 11 lakh rupees and the RS could be priced around 13 lakh rupees. So what are your opinions about these two motorcycles? Do let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to Zig Wheels. Take care.